Chris, you should have had that on top of uh, your popcorn. Sriracha. Sriracha. How would this be on barbecue, do you think? It looks uh, like it's a nice mild flavor. Mild, yes. Very, try it. Let me know how it Is works. this April 1st? Hey everybody, Chris and Ellen again. And what am I doing with this bottle of hot sauce? No, I'm not selling it on late night TV. I am uh, using Although it to could. promote this brand new kufia variety called Sriracha. Sriracha. Yeah. It's, it's named after that wild uh, hot sauce from Thailand. Thailand. And if it's hot sauce, this has to be a heat loving variety. And it is. What's unique about this kufia is, well, look at the size of the flowers we're dealing with here. This is not mm -hmm. your regular kufia. And it's really uh, upright, too. Yep. Dills out the pot. Uh, there's three colors, right? red, rose, and violet. I believe it's pink, rose, and violet. It is pink, rose, and yeah. violet. Jen Zirko. And, um, and the deal is, it, it grow it like a vinca. I mean, it, that's the kind of conditions it likes. Hot, 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 hot. This is a summer crop. Um, it's a little tricky to grow in the plug tray, too. Um, requires some paclobutrazole sprays. But anyway, how about another Another heat lover. hot lover. Heat lover. Pentis. This is star cluster. And, well, look at that. Star-shaped flowers. Large, large uh, flowers on, on Now, here you go. This is a vegetative Pentis. It's a tetraploid, which means that it is big. Big flower, strong st stems. Uh, grow it in a gallon pots. How many colors we got here, Ellen? Um, I have listed down here four. We've got red, rose, lavender, and white. All right. Now this is uh, this is for uh, this is one of the goldfish heat lovers. Premium item, uh, and you know what? It attracts pollinators too. Hummingbirds love this. And butterflies. Oh look! It's the Hollywood Walk of Fame, or really, more likely, the Syngenta Walk of Fame. That's right. Lanai yeah. Twister Pink was introduced last year. Uh, I think so. Something like that. Great variety. They've added two more twisters. Twister Red. Very nice. And then down here we have Twister Purple. And uh, okay, colors. dig the twisty tag yeah, they've got going with that it. Out. Now this is uh, this is not an actual POP program, but they are doing a bunch of concepts here at Syngenta. They're working with uh, John Henry on, on most of them. And uh, Twisted Up is one of them for like bicolors. Right. Or uh, Ellen, suppose you want to sell blue Whoa. in your garden center. Look at that blue. Look at this. I mean, this shouldn't just be a concept. That's something any garden center should be doing. That's stunning. Color blocking into the, is into such the a good blue way to sell plants. Is that concept. Uh, oh, while we're talking for Venus. Right. Scarlet uh, with eye. Scarlet with eye is also new in the Lanai's. And uh, here's another fun concept. Here, let me get into the into the setting here. If you're relaxing on your deck, everybody wants some deck orations. Deck orations. Yeah. Sounds wow, Irish. Comfortable. There's a nice breeze. I don't want to get up and go over there, but I guess we have to. Because there is a neat variety right there. It's a Gerbera. So we finally pulled ourselves out of those comfy chairs, and we came over to look at this, Strawberry Twist. What exactly is this, Chris? Well, Strawberry Twist, at, at first I was looking at this variety thinking it's this color. It's actually a Gerbera, the Cartwheel series, but it's shades uh, all the way from these kind of cream and butter colored colors uh, a bit lighter. to this really nice twisty color. Might even get a few of these popping up in there. That's pretty. So it's a broad range of shades, but they're all very cool together. And there are now four cartwheels in the series, but that's Strawberry Twist. Now, how about a new com concept in Chrysanthemums? Okay. Well, we're not going to call them Chrysanthemums. we got a new name for them. Mum? It's not a mum, Chris. Ma I know it's not. It's, it's a zenia. zenia. And I'm trying to get more zen like. You've been helping me with the yoga and the right. gluten free dining, free range, vine ripened barbecue thing. Uh, okay, what is this? Well, Syngenta has the Yoder Mum brand, the name in pot mums and garden mums. But mums are like old fashioned, ah, yes. at least to the younger folks, right? It's grandma's flower. It's your, it's your flower. grandmother's flower, right. But what, what they did is they showed some of these flowers to consumers, to friends of theirs, and just asked them, what do you think about it? 
You need and all these are different. Mom. This is not your traditional looking mom. No, no. They're these, different these shapes. An, these anemones are really unusual. And one of the people mm. said, boy, this, this is sort of zen-like. And it sparked a little idea. And that's where they came up with the name Xenia. For all of these unusual anemones, uh, what are some of the varieties that are listed in here? Um, let's see. Well, there are six different varieties, and uh, several of them are from the Springs collection. Um, we also have Ensign and Green Valley. Oh, this is Green Valley down here. So anyway, so you see the tag, the name. Uh, if you're going to do this, you really should mm -hmm. should do the POP to make it work. But the idea is to provide a potted plant. Well, look at these pot covers, too. Looks like a Chinese food container. Very zen-like. So anyway, so that's the idea here. We're not pot de dealing with pot moms. We're dealing with zennias. Zennias. Much cooler and hipper than your grandmother's pot mom. Nice, nice. Hey, we're all working here from Ball Publishing. They're selling, actually they're learning. That's my sales staff over there. Taking notes, wanting to know about these varieties, the Zinnia. But how about some more pot moms? My these, favorite I, color. I love these. These are a Hilo, Hilo Tangerine, Hilo Fuchsia, kind of a series of these. Big Can I go yellow is improved? And they, they, the Hilos have this little halo in the center. <laughs> Makes it easy to remember the Hilos. And, um, Durango, Durango yellow is improved. And yeah. down over to your left, Genzerco, right. this is Seaside White. I like that one. That one appeals to me. Right. And then Freeport. Here's a big purple Freeport. Now, garden mums. Over here, bunches of them. And by the time you watch this, who knows, it's going to be garden mums. Garden mum time. A lot of them across here. 18 Red Fire, Danielle Purple, Red. A whole family, new family called Chelsea. White, yellow, pink, and coral. Have you mentioned this yet? No. I'm waiting for you to mention it, Ellen. That is pretty cool. This is a mumsy. So kind of a concept of the uh, euphorbia planted with a poinsettia in the middle. Right. This is a mumsedia. Mumsedia. This is um, pansies with a mum in the middle. You're losing the pot there. Oh. I think it's been pulled out a lot. Oh, okay. But those are beautiful. Pansies and mums, mumsies. 